Ardsley High School, the holidays are just around the corner. Here to give you some tips on how to enjoy the festivities, we have Ardsley's holiday specialist, Polly Damiano. Welcome, Polly. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. As you know, Hanukkah starts next Tuesday. Many people don't know that celebrating Hanukkah is the perfect way to start to learn to become a casino manager. Dreidel, the traditional holiday game, is great for childhood gambling of guilt. Before you know it, you'll be the Texas Hold'em player in the family. And everyone will wonder, what goes on in your household? Hanukkah also teaches kids that greed is acceptable. Kids love it, getting an obscene amount of gifts each night, and Hanukkah runs for eight nights. Fun fact, Polly. Hanukkah lasts eight nights, because when the Maccabees lit the menorah, they expected the candle to burn for only one yeah, night. Yeah, no one has time for the whole story. Another holiday that's on the horizon is Christmas. But you already knew that since Christmas music has been playing on every single radio station since before Thanksgiving, as well as the millions of commercials reminding us that the holiday deals are unbeatable. Boys and girls, Santa is now morbidly obese because of all the cookies he eats. So let's all make sure that he arrives at your house to a nice, fresh, delicious salad. Fun fact, Santa's reindeer's names are Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet. Yeah, let's be honest, everyone only cares about Rudolph. A third holiday that is also near is Kwanzaa. If you love the food of Thanksgiving and the presence of Hanukkah, then you will love Kwanzaa. It's a combination of both what fun you get to gain another six pounds and complain about how you will never eat another bite of food again, again! Fun fact about Kwanzaa. I, I, I don't actually know anything about Kwanzaa. And, and lastly, New Year's is the year-ending, 365-day closing, overly dramatic and chaotic holiday that everyone loves so much for some strange reason. If you were looking for a great way to, to welcome in the next 365 days, you can try to make your way to Times Square to maybe catch a glimpse of the ball dropping on top of one Times Square. But there is always at least 2,000 people, so you'll probably get trampled. But you're more than welcome to try. You could also say hello to 2015 by trying so hard on those resolutions you tell yourself you will follow each year, but never actually do. But hey, maybe 2015 is the year you can finally drop those five pounds you so desperately need to lose. Fun fact, Polly, the Pentagon has created an emergency plan in case of a zombie attack. Now that makes sense. That's right. That's all, folks. Have a great holiday season, Ardsley. 